So we're going to do another how-to video today. It's going to be how to build a solar-powered pond fountain. Um, I can't run power to my pond, it's just too far away. So, But you can use this in a bunch of other situations where you just don't have 120 volts running or you don't feel like running it. Uh, and then just for fun, I got some little LED strip lights that I can plug them into the power source as well and turn them on, make the dock look cool. Um, I ended up buying a uh, battery and a battery box just to put it in to keep it out of the weather I can put some of my other electrical connections inside the box as well to keep them dry um, we got a 50 watt solar panel uh, it comes with directions because there is actually a sequence of hooking up your wires to the controller and the controller just regulates how much how quickly it charges the battery and uh, once the battery is charged it just trickle charges the the pump comes with a connection here it's a inch and a quarter NPT and has an adapter that adapts it to uh, like a garden hose connection and then I just went from garden hose connection to uh, irrigation or like a sprinkler system setup and just put Teflon on all these connections and then this the pump will go underwater I'll tie it to the leg of the dock and then secure all of this pipe to the leg of the dock and I bought a bunch of caps and so I can just drill whatever holes I want for whatever kind of fountain spray that I want uh, I've just been playing with a few of them even without the cap, it, it moves a ton of water. It sprays it pretty far, so it looks pretty good. Uh, so I don't know whether I'm going with a cap or not. So the pump comes with these alligator clips. What I'll probably do is just cut these wires and put uh, some eyelets on the end so that I can put them on these uh, battery terminal connections. And then I just got some extra wire controller comes with clips the solar panel controller it comes without alligator clips too I mean I guess you can use them I just want to set it up where it looks a little cleaner and uh, you don't have a chance of these falling off if you bump the box or whatever I also bought this timer so you just wire the timer in you can make it turn on I think it's got like 16 different on off times so I'll probably I'm gonna play with it depending on how much power this thing actually uses so I'll end up setting maybe 30 minutes and then have it off for an hour and a half and then it'll turn on for another 30 minutes and then another hour and a half and so on and it'll just be during daylight hours whenever it can charge itself back up all of this stuff the uh, sump pump uh, the timer the solar panel uh, the LED lights all of this stuff was bought off of Amazon uh, the piping and the adapter from uh, the garden hose fitting to the uh, sprinkler system or irrigation system, all of that stuff was bought at your, like local hardware stores. And the battery in the battery box, that was bought at Walmart. So all this stuff's really readily available. Nothing's very expensive, except for the battery. I think that was the biggest expense in the whole project. to remove some deck boards they were crooked anyway so I got to put in some uh, some boards to support a little extra deck for the battery and for the solar panel
finally it's time for the battery box and then we'll put the sump pump in the water. So probably for now, I'll just run it without a cap on it so I can get as much flow as I can. Uh, and in the meantime, I should be able to get a rat tail, like a little rat tail file and clean all these holes up. So to clean up some of that spray pattern. All right, so now we just gotta mount these up so I can make a mark on this deck and figure out where I'm gonna screw them down. timer and got it wired up the way that the uh, wiring diagram shows so I think I should just be able to swap this to manual and then override all the time the timer settings okay so that works and it's running through the timer All right, so now I got it in the off setting, so I'll get the solar panel and controller wired up, and then I already have all the time set in the timer when I want it to turn on and off. So we'll just get everything wired up and then see if it works with the timer. All right, so this set of wires goes to the center wire on this solar panel controller. So that goes to battery. You got two lights on. And you're supposed to do that one first, it says. And then we'll hook up the solar panel to the controller. So now it should be charging the battery. Yep, so it got a charging light. This extra set is uh, what I'll hook the LEDs to. I still need to silicone these holes shut. It should get plenty of air on these sides even though they're siliconed up. All right, so that's the whole setup. I'll just clean everything up a little bit and we'll make sure that it turns on uh, at 12.30 when the timer goes off. Perfect. So the timer came on just when it should. And I just got it running multiple times throughout the day. I also checked the battery with a multimeter yesterday after it ran all day. 
and the solar panel seems to be doing a good job keeping a full charge on the battery. Thanks for watching the video.